this book for? Obviously it's for ESL teachers, teachers of English as a second language, and students of English as a second language. Um, I'll show you later that each page is linked to a video and to a sound file so that even if someone doesn't have a teacher with them or a native speaker with them, they can access the, the, um, what it should have, sort of should sound like, at least in this accent. Um, I mean, one day preferably I have a young female British voice doing the, um, you know, much more appealing than mine, I suppose. Anyway, um, but not just ESL. English teachers, early primary teachers, speech and drama teachers, etc. And I think actually I was talking uh, just a couple of days ago to um, one of our students at uh, Community Care Academy and she's got a job in early child education starting next year. And I owe her a bit of money, so I said to her, I'll, I'll give you a copy of this book instead. I owe her money because I guaranteed that another student would pay her a debt that he owed to her. And then he left the school. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know, what I, I don't know what I was thinking. So I think early childhood teachers will actually be able to use this book quite proficiently. That she says that she often sits there with a, you know, like an infant, and she, she knows lots of rhymes and songs, but she can never remember them when she's, you know, when she's right there. So with this index, she'll be all right. Um, it's available now. I'm going to, um, at the end, I'll, I'll put some slides up and show you, or pages up to show you what's in there. And the only other thing I want to cover is what I'm going to do next with it. So it was enough work just to get it together and to get all the videos, very basic videos. There's a bouncing ball videos, you know, and the sound files made and everything linked in and it's, it's working, you know. So that's going to be pub that's published. Well, it's published now. In fact, everything came online at 6 p.m. So you could buy it and listen to it and watch it from 6 p.m. Um, perhaps someone is if they're bored. Um, but in the coming year, what I hope to do is create an app so that this can be um, accessed without the book. And I'm also looking at um, doing a version, sort of a simplified version for pre-literate children, so three, four, five-year-olds, something that's more of a picture book about which parents and teachers can share, you know, just with smaller children, because um, it's probably a bit intimidating in its current form for them. Okay, so that's everything I want to say.